Good, better, best. Good, good better, better, best. Never, never rest. Never, never, never rest. Till the good is better. Till the good is better. And the better is best. And the better is best. Rangers on two. One, two. Rangers. Welcome to Munchin Rangers TV, presented by Jones K's Original American Diner, Munich's newest spot for the big game and homestyle cooking. Our juicy burgers, tasty sandwiches, and refreshing drinks will satisfy even the non-sports fans. Come join us, Jones K's Original American Diner in the heart of Munich at Karlstrasse 56. One last stop for the München Rangers on the road to the GFL 2. The return leg of the promotion playoffs brought the team to Waldstadion in Albershausen, a village with a population of 4,000 in Baden-Württemberg. Awaiting them the Crusaders, the top team from the Regionalliga Mitte, who were chomping at the bit, looking to avenge a 22-7 loss in Munich two weeks ago that ended their 22-game win streak. The task got a little harder for the Rangers when the coaching staff announced that QB Jonathan Pengeli suffered a broken rib in that win in Dante Stadium and would only play if needed. Julian Settle would step back into the starting quarterback role after breaking his collarbone two months ago. Johnny Football led the team this far. It was time for Julian to finish the job. The key for head coach Frank Roser would be to come out with a game plan that would allow a QB with no game action for 10 weeks to win the all-important playoff road game. With the 15-point lead, it was clear from the beginning, they wanted to run the ball. However, the loud home crowd affected the QB and the snap count, leading to penalties and not much in the early going. As we all found out, keep giving the ball to Hall. He will find a way through, and Hall did. In the first quarter, leaping over a defender, rumbles down the sideline, untouched till he finishes in the end zone. Rangers quiet the crowd early, lead seven to nothing. The two-way star, Hall also finds the ball. The leader of the defense that dominated the first leg did the same again. This time, Hall chases down Shane Gimzo. Boom! A punishing sack to keep the Crusaders from the scoreboard in the first quarter. Gimzo would shake it off, and early in the second, after more ill-advised Rangers penalties kept the drive alive, the QB ran it through the D. Finds pay dirt and ties the game at seven apiece. Albershausen back in it. That touchdown sparked their D, finally making a play. Zetto's pass in traffic, tipped and picked off by the home team. Could momentum be shifting? Roser and the Rangers came to rely on the D to save them in these two tough playoff games and set the tone. Bam! Kevin Wu with a clean hit, right through the Crusaders receiver, thoroughly enjoyed by Hall and his teammates. Christian Leibold got into the action, followed up with a sack on Gimzo. The front line, again, winning the war in the trenches. After the turnover, Roser decided to change things up. Uses this misdirection trick play on the overly aggressive Albershausen D. Oliver Oza gets the ball into the red zone. Making it easy for Zetto. A short fade pass to Luke the Duke Klima. Touchdown! Doing a little dance like his favorite player. Rangers up 14-7 right before halftime. After a rough start, Zetto and the offense settled. The plan was short passes, but the QB looked comfortable starting the second half. Long pass to Klima again. He takes it down to the goal line for the Rangers. Zetto rolls out and a quick strike to Sebastian Kramer to finish the drive. Rangers in command led 21-7 in the third. The Crusaders would need to go all out, but again, the München D. And Ball Hawk Hall would step in. INT by the American would crush any hope for the host. Switching sides for the fourth quarter, Philip Kunze with a nice run close to the goal line. And once again, Zettel, a bullet to Kramer, 28-7 game all but over, Gimzo drives his team down to end their failed quest on a positive note, a TD in the waning moments. The day belonged to the Rangers. Time to celebrate and give their coach the well-deserved victory shower. Hello GFL2. The München Rangers are coming to the delight of head coach Roser.
I'm just proud of the team, about, of the Rangers organization, the staff members, Francesca, our doctor, who is always there with us. And um, at the beginning of the season, you enter the team meeting, the first meeting, and then you present a goal to them. And then you tell them to work hard, get better every practice. And they just follow what you say. And we had some rough times, up and downs during the season. But now we worked everything through as a team, and now we're there. With QB troubles the last two games, clearly the player that led the Rangers to dominating wins was Michael Hall. Running the ball gave his injured QB enough time to make plays, and making the key tackles prevented Albertshausen from establishing any momentum. Hall kindly notes it was a team effort. I think both games really kind of just asserted us as how, how powerful our strength of schedule was, like how um, the, even though they were uh, undefeated for 24 games in a row, it really showed to the strength of our schedule that we lost two games, but we still came and really handled them in both our stadium and theirs, and it really kind of showed the strength of our team and the strength of our coaching. It was an amazing season. We really fought hard. We came through. I mean, it was just, I mean, it was a grind the entire season. We lost our first two games out. A lot of people were down about it, but we kind of rebuilt, uh, reassessed some new things on defense and offense and really got rolling and kind of believed in the championship mentality and the, the potential of our team. The goal was clear from the start of the season, but started like the final game. A stumble at 0-2, then winning their final seven games. Once the Rangers machine got rolling, there was no stopping them until they reach their final destination, the GFL 2. From Wall Stadion in Albershausen, Salma Mita, Munchen Rangers TV.